We have come to another phase of this evening's competition, which has wonderfully become ever exciting. The lovely candidates are now all glam up and ready to sashay down the stage in their most elegant and romantic evening gowns, which shall show their personality and style. May I remind you that the delegates will be judged not only on the beauty of their gowns, but more on the way they, they carry themselves with poise and elegance. Ladies and gentlemen, let's begin the evening gown competition. Candidate number one is from Antipolo Rizal and 18 years of age. She is presently taking up a travel and management course in World City College. Our candidate number one, Mitch Campaner. Graduate from the Technological Institute of the Philippines. She is presently a business entrepreneur of beauty products and has traveled in Thailand and other Asian countries. From Antipolo Rizal, candidate number two, Shane Marie Madrigal. Number three, she is fan of sketching and 21 years of age. She is a student in National College of Business and Arts in Cubao, Quezon City, taking up business administration, major in marketing management. Another one from Antipolo Rizal, candidate number three, Arabella Calvitaza. Number four. She is also from Antipolo and a sophomore student in ICCT Colleges, Cainta, taking a PS in education. She is 22 years old and a freelance makeup artist. She usually spends her spare time dancing. Candidate number four, Joyce Ann Soriano.
Our next candidate is candidate number five. She is 25 years old and a product endorser of Ads in Motion. She is a freelance makeup artist, having been a graduate of cosmetology from St. Petersville Technical Center. From Antipolo Rizal, candidate number five, Jody Dihaiko. Our next candidate is candidate number six. A resident of Taitai Rizal and is 24 years old. She finished an associate in hotel and restaurant management course from Our Lady of Fatima University. A part-time model and business entrepreneur, candidate number six, Leslie Ann Francisco. Our next candidate is candidate number seven, who hails from Pililla Rizal and very young at the age of 18. A sophomore student taking a BS in hotel and restaurant management in STI Tanai, he spent his vacant periods dancing. Candidate number seven, Jillian Garcia. Candidate number eight. She is a business entrepreneur and only on her junior year in the University of the Philippines, Visayas, taking up fine arts. She is 24 years old and is fan of sketching. From Antipolo Rizal, candidate number eight, Alexis Garcia. Candidate number nine sketches during her spare time and is 23 years old. In his second year in business management, she is an overseas performer, artist, and singer. From Antipolo Rizal, candidate number nine, M. Bayubai.
Our next candidate is candidate number 10. She's a second year hotel and restaurant management student and is young at the age of 20. A model and manages her own saloon. She is fond of dancing and sketching. From Angono Rizal, candidate number 10, Tanya Marie Otohan. Our next candidate is candidate number 11. Candidate number 11 is a high school graduate, cum entrepreneur, and manages her own business. She usually dances spare time away and is 22 years old. From Antipolo Rizal, candidate number 11, Eritz Yoneda. Candidate number 12. She is from Cainta Rizal and a sophomore college student. Only 23 years old, she dances during his off time and co-manages their family business. Candidate number 12, Hannah Marie Francisco. Our next candidate is candidate number 13. Candidate number 13 is a high school graduate and a dancer. At 21 years of age, she looks at life very positively. From Rodriguez Rizal, candidate number 13, Trixie Maris Salinas. Next is candidate number 14. Candidate number 14 is a consistent honor student and a graduate of BS Psychology from the Polytechnic University of the Philippines at a tender age of 25. She is a freelance makeup artist and is fond of designing articles, sketching, and dancing. From Taitai Rizal, Candidate number 14, Claude Bernardino. Our candidate number 15, is from Antipolo Rizal and a manager of a resto bar in Pasig City. Only 24 years old, she graduated from the Ozerizal University 
with a degree and BS in Information Technology. Fan of Dancing, our candidate number 15, Chantel Bautista Gagliardi. Candidate number 16. She is a BS in Broadcast Journalism graduate from the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. At 23 years of age, she is already a fashion designer and a business entrepreneur. From Antipolo City, candidate number 16, Christine Madrigal. Our next candidate is candidate number 17. She finished his BS in Hotel and Restaurant Management degree from Shena College. At 25 years old, she manages her own restaurant business. From Taitai Rizal and who plays billiards, candidate number 17, Joridel Mercado. Next in line is candidate number 18. She is a BS in hotel and restaurant management student and spends her time singing and dancing. She is 19 years old and wanted to be a professional singer and dancer someday. From Pililia Rizal, candidate number 18, Paula Garcia. Our next candidate is candidate number 19. Candidate number 19 is only 18 years old and a second year college student at ICCT Colleges Cainta taking up a course in hotel and restaurant management. On for reading books, dancing and sketching, our candidate number 18 or 19, I mean, Paris Antonio. Candidate number 20. She is also 18 years of age and a sophomore college student taking up BS in Technology and Management at the Tomas Claudio Memorial College. One who acts, dances, and serves the internet, our candidate number 20, Jean Pauline Reyes. Next 
Next is candidate number 21. Candidate number 21 is from the town of Paras Rizal and is only 18 years old. A first-year college student taking up a business administration course, she acts, dances, and sings, and sometimes does painting. Candidate number 21, Diva Marie Francisco. Candidate number 22. She is 19 years old and a student of Our Lady of Fatima University taking up a course in hotel and restaurant management. She dances during his off time. From Teresa Rizal, candidate number 22, Precious and Eslava. Next in line is candidate number 23. She's a fourth year college student at Tomas Claudio Memorial College, taking a BS in computer science, and who utilizes her spare time dancing. From Pililla Rizal, candidate number 23, Kim Garcia. Candidate number 24. Candidate number 24 is from Antipolo Rizal and a high school graduate and a part-time model. A dancer, singer, and sketches from time to time. Please welcome our candidate number 24, Red Argel Madrigal. Next in line is candidate number 25. She is a real estate agent while studying in college. She is 25 years old and loves to dance and sing. From Angono Rizal, candidate number 25, Erika Laison.
Our next candidate is candidate number 26. She's from Antipolo Rizal and a freshman college student taking up a course in hotel and restaurant management. Only 18 years old, she loves to sing and dance. Candidate number 26, Glaisa Sakarias. Our next in line is candidate number 27. Candidate number 27 is a freshman college student at Far Eastern University taking up a course in fine arts. A freelance model, she loves sketching. From Antipolo Rizal, candidate number 27 Mandy Madrigal Candidate number 28. She's from the easternmost town of Rizal, the town of Halahala. At 23 years old, she's a marketing executive and finished a course in mass communication. Love dancing, our last but definitely not the least candidate. Candidate number 28, FIFA Villa Rojas. Ladies and gentlemen, again, please welcome the candidates in their long gown.
Thank you very much. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our 20 lovely candidates in their long gown competition. And this time, our ladies will be surnamed by none other than Mama Yayon. Nalasabikan lang natin sila. Ibibigay na natin kaagad ang ating best in long gown. Napakagaganda nila, oh. Kaya siya. Oh, sino ang bet nyo? Candidate number? May number 6. May number 16. Siyempre, lahat may pala eh. Okay. Bago natin announce kung sino ang uh, napili sa best in long gown, we would like to thank again our sponsors. Of course, Governor Casimiro Juninales III. Ma'am Andrea Bautista Inares, Vice Governor Prisco San Juan Jr. and Sangguniang Panlalawigan Provincial Tourism Office. Doon sa mga tumulong dito sa atin, sa Gora. Uh, Provincial Tourism Office, Tourism Offices at 14 Municipalities, Governor's Office Staff, Provincial Information Office, Management Information System, Engineering Department, General Service Office, Inares Center Staff, Human Resource Management Office, Provincial Security Division, and barangay officials at of the 14 municipalities na talagang tumulong para maging maganda ang show na ito. Palakpakan mo natin, Governor Casimiro Juninares III, ang magagaling na ama ng laluigan na Rizal, napakasipag at napakabait at matulungin sa kapwa, walang sinisino, walang, uh, walang sinisino, walang pinipili, kahit ano at kahit sino tinutulungan. Katulad ng Gora, ang Gays of Rizal Association, Tinulungan po ng ating Governor Casimiro Jun Inares III. At alam po ba ninyo kung magkano ang premyo ng ating title? Miss Gay Result. First, first Miss Gay Result 2012, 25,000 po ang title. Palangpakan naman natin si Governor Casimiro Jun Inares III. At ang ating uh, Miss Tourism will receive 15,000 pesos in cash. And our uh, Miss Trade and Industry will receive 10,000 pesos. And our second runner-up will receive 5,000 pesos. And our first runner-up will receive 5,000 pesos. Automatic, ang ating 15 finalists, excluding the five uh, winners, will receive 2,000 pesos in cash. Kaya palakpakan naman natin ang pamahal na lalu lalawigan ng Rizal sa pagtulong dito sa ating uh, Gora's first project, Miss Gay Result 2012. At automatic din po ang ating uh, non-winners, yung maiiwan po at hindi mapapas uh, papasok sa 15 finalists, ay makakatanggap na po sila ng 1,000 pesos each. Kaya palakpakan naman natin ang uh, ating uh, pamahala ng lalawigan ng result. Thank you so much, partner. And this time, we will announce our best in long gown. And that is none other than candidate number nine. To present the award, may we call on Mr. Mar Bacani and the Honorable Board Member Ato Bernardo. Congratulations, candidate number nine, our best in long gown. Once again, thank you so much. And of course, this time, kagaya po ng sinabi ko kanina, our ladies are uh, very grateful tonight because we have a very special guest to serenade them, ladies and gentlemen, Alden Richards!
Good evening, Mo. Board of Judges po, good evening. Yan, maraming salamat po sa pagpunta. Na mahal kita, hindi mo alam, huwag ka sana magagaling. Hindi naman yata talaga ang aking puso. Na dati akala ko yun, Di pa rin makalapi Inuuna ka ng kaba sa aking dibi Sa iyong iti Ako'y nahumali At sa tuwing ikaw ay gagalaw Ang mundo ko'y tumitigil Para lang sa iyo Awit na ang aking puso Sana'y mapansin mo rin Ang lihim ko Pagtingin Thank you Sa iyong ngiti Sa tuwing ikaw ay gagalaw Ang mundo ko'y tumitigil Para lang sa iyo Awit na ang aking puso So, sana'y mapansin mo rin Ang lihim kong pagtingin Sa iyong ngiti Maraming salamat po Ayan Ah gusto ko po sana samantalihin itong pagkakataon na ito para magpasalamat po kay Governor Junjun Linares III. Gov, salamat po sa pag-invite sa akin dito for the second time. And uh, salamat din po sa lahat ng nandito ngayon. Kasi sobrang init pa rin po ng pagtanggap niyo sa akin kahit pangalawang beses na. So maraming maraming salamat po. Gusto niyo pa ba na isa? Okay, sige po. Next song please. It's amazing how you can speak right through my heart. Without saying a word, you can light up the dark. Try as they may, you can never explain. The smile on your face lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me. The touch of your hands says you'll catch me wherever I want. You say it best when you say nothing at all. Ano 
Nanonood po ba kayo ng One True Love? Thank you very much. People talking But when you hold me here, we can turn off the ground. Try as they may, they can never define what's been said between your heart and mine. The smile on your face lets me know that you need There's the truth in your eyes Saying you'll never leave me The touch of your hands Says you'll catch me Wherever I fall You say it best When you say nothing at all Good luck po sa lahat ng candidates. It's been an honor singing in front of you guys. And I hope everybody's having fun. Para po sa inyong lahat to. The smile on your face lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me. The touch of your hand says you'll catch me. Wherever I fall You say it best When you say nothing at all Maraming maraming salamat po And nag-enjoy po ako the second time Thank you so much Go! Governor Junjun, in Addis the Third, Gov, thank you so much. Maraming salamat po. And uh, sana po makabalik ako dito. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Alden Richards. Wow. Bongayon. And this time we have come to announcement of the top 15 candidates who most impressed the judges with their elegance, beauty, and poise, which means that we will have to say goodbye to the rest of the candidates. But for me, you have all done so well in this pageant, and your hometowns should all be proud of you. Let us begin the announcement in random order. Let's start. Our first finalist in our top 15. Congratulations, candidate number six. Be glad, candidate number 16. Come on down, because you're one of the finalists. Candidate number nine. Congratulations to candidate number eight. Make a big smile, cause she's gonna make it. Candidate number 11. Rejoice, candidate number 25. Down, just sure be glad. Number five, congratulations to candidate number 17. Come and join them, candidate number 27. Congratulations, candidate number 28. Hey, 
Clap your hands, everybody. Because here, candidate number 24. Again, congratulations to candidate number 19. You are the one of the 15 finalists, candidate number 23. Be glad, candidate number 10. And to complete our top 15 finalists, you can make it candidate number 15. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our top 15 finalists. Okay, congratulations to our top 15 for making it this far. Now it is back to square one. And these 15 finalists are on equal footing. At this time, meaning all of them has a chance to become Miss Gay Rizal. The judges shall now decide the winner by putting a maximum of 50 points on beauty and a maximum of 50 points on intelligence for a total of 100 points. This is the final phase of the competition, which is the question and answer portion. This might will be the de decider on who among our finals will be able to demonstrate grace under pressure and who possesses a good head above her shoulders. This process will be done by way of drawing lots, meaning the contestant will pick one question from a ball. Okay, Are you partner. ready, candidates? So uh, for our top 15 finalists, we'll be giving them one minute. And if the one minute done, automatic the mic to get into mute. Okay, so, uh, naintindihan niyo yun? Ladies, one, one minute, minute lang. lang so, uh, uunahin ko, hindi uh, doon sa first contestant natin, doon sa naunang number, ha? Common Town candidate number five. Ganda naman ni candidate number five. How Feel are you, nervous? candidate number five? I'm feeling nervous. And pretty answer sa question. Have Parang, you eaten? Tari niya sumanggot, ano? Parang may sipon. Oh, oh. And then, Sherman Hanshin. Hindi, ganyan ang mga sosyal. Oh, you can pick your uh, question and... Uh, nabigay mo sa akin. Ito ang iyong katanungan. One minute lang, ha? One minute lang, pero babasahin ko po ito ng dalawang beses para mas maliwanag. Kumakailan lang ay naging issue ang pagbaban sa mga cross-dresser sa mga piling establishment sa Metro Manila, sa palagay mo, kailangan din ba itong ipatupad dito sa Rizal at bakit? Once again, I repeat the question, kung makailan lang ay naging issue ang pag sa mga cross-dresser, sa mga piling establishments sa Metro Manila, sa palagay mo, kailangan din ba itong ipatupad dito sa Rizal at bakit? Unang-una po sa lahat mga kaibigan, para po sa akin, hindi po dapat ipatupad na ipagbawal ang mga cross-dresser dito po sa Antipolo. Pangalawa po mga kaibigan, ang atang mga cross-dresser po ay nakakaakit din po ng mga turista. At ito pong dahilan na po ay pagiging hospitable ng mga Antipolo at mga lungsod ng bayan upang makita at maramdaman din ng mga third sex kung gaano sila kaimportante. At ang ating bansa po ay mayroong demokratikong, demokratik, demokratikong batas na kung saan nararapat po nating Equal ang pagtuturingan ng bawat isang mamamayang Pilipino. Yun lamang po muli magandang gabi. So, hindi sa pabor. Very well said. Yes. Oo nga naman. So, kung cross-dresser ako, na ba ako pwede pumunta sa Rizal? Eh, taga-Rizal ako. Hindi. Si... Oo nga. Oo nga. Bongga yun. Bongga yung question na yun. Eh, depende naman sa dress. 
Pwede, baka naman ang dress mo eh, alas 12 ng gabi, naka-short-short ka, yeah. eh baka maiban ka talaga. Nakikita yung low pressure area, yes. di ba? And I'll move on to our next contestant, candidate number six. Oh, napakaganda ni candidate number six, oh. Parang walang bahid ng pagkalalaki. Kamusta ka, candidate number six? Very happy, but then yet, I'm nervous. And thank for the people who supported me right here. Very nervous. Okay. Nervous system. Candidate so you make number pick. six. Pakibigay mo kay uh, Sir Juwen. Inipit talaga na maigpi. Gusto mo yan? Baloktot siya o kailangan ng salamin? Nang manalasa ang bagyong undoy, Nakaranas ang ating lalawigan ng malawakang pagbubuwis ng buhay, buhay at pagkasira ng ari-arian. Ano sa palagay mo ang iyong maitutulong upang hindi na maulit ang ganitong pangyayari? Nang manalasa ang bagyong undoy, nakaranas ang ating lalawigan ng malawakang pagbubuwis ng buhay at pagkasira ng ari-arian. Ano sa palagay mo ang iyong maitutulong upang hindi na maulit ang ganitong pangyayari? What I can do, ladies and gentlemen, is first to start from myself. Clean up the treasures that all are living around in my places so that people will always be encouraged for me to be followed, in short, to become a role model. Second, ladies and gentlemen, if the people around you will see that you are doing recycling and segregation, I think, ladies and gentlemen, that is the best and effective way for us to eliminate these kinds of things. And also, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, as an individual, the best thing that I could also do, aside from recycling and segregation, is my prayers. Praying to the Lord that Jesus Christ, that we be blessed here in our society and also be protected as always. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't always forget to recycle and resegregate our garbages so that these things can be prevented. Thank you very much and good evening. So much. So, mag-segregate tayo at mag-recycle. At samahan din natin ang pagkadasal. Thank you yes. so much, candidate number six. And now, move on to our candidate number eight. Wow, is so maganda. Kawin niya si Gretchen Barrett. Okay. How are you, candidate number eight? You look sophisticated. Thank you so much. Pwede ka bang bumate sa mga audience tonight? Magandang gabi sa lahat at thank you sa lahat ng supporters ko na nagmula pa po sa Lower Antipolo. Oh, crush ka raw ni Sir oh, James Blanco. Well, ang tarang yung nangipin mo, no? Ivory. Walang, walang dilaw, hindi ko na nangipin ko, parang puro tartar. May hepatitis. So number eight, bago pa malait ang sarili ko, pakibigay mo na lang ang iyong question. Itong yung katanungan. Sakaling ikaw ay ma-appoint na provincial treasurer ng Rizal, ano-anong mga hakbang ang iyong ipatutupad upang lalo pang mapataas ang koleksyon ng lalawigan? Once again, sakaling ikaw ay ma-appoint na provincial treasurer ng Rizal, ano-anong mga hakbang ang iyong ipatutupad upang lalo pang mapataas ang koleksyon ng lalawigan? Oh, thank you for that very mind-babbling question. If you are the treasurer of this uh, um, province, definitely you are handling the money of this province. It is very much uh, hard for me to handle money because money is the root of evil. But since you're asking me, what would I do in order to have much profit in that uh, money, definitely I would try to implement some taxes for all the entrepreneurs here in the province of Rizal. Second, I would like to have a livelihood program and cooperative to each and every municipalities in order for them to have profits as well. By that, they can show that the mind of a homosexual like me is really growing up because I really do believe that even though I am homosexual, I am a very intellectual person. Thank you so much. Livelihood programs. 
Kuya Jun. Thank you very yeah. much, Kanit number eight. Bongga yun. Ako nahirapan doon, hindi ko masasagot yun. Oo. <laughs> Pwede ba nga... Pa na lang? Actually, Ladies and gentlemen, candidate number nine. Wow. Okay. How do you feel that uh, you won uh, best in long gown? Well, it's, uh, it's un unexpected, but so much thankful. Thank you so much to all the judges for picking me to, to won the best in long gown. Thank you so much. Unexpected talaga. Unexpected talaga. Kaya siya pag, pag sila yung nasa harapan, de, pag kamubunot, contestant. Kasi pag ikaw yung nasa harapan at kalapit mo talaga sila, makikita mo ang gaganda nila sa personal, ano? Oo, ang gaganda nila sa malapitan. Lalo na pag nasa widescreen nila. Hindi katulad mo, pag malapitan. <laughs> Suya ka na, kailangan mo na ng asukal para tanggal umay. Okay, here's your question. You have to answer the question in a safe form, okay? Okay, meron tayong division. Difficult, saka medyo lesser difficult. Pa. Yan. Kigil ka eh. Hmm. Kung ikaw ay bibigyan ng pagkakataong makapagtrabaho sa Rizal Provincial Government, saang departamento mo gusto at bakit? I repeat. Kung ikaw ay bibigyan ng pagkakataong makapagtrabaho sa Rizal Provincial Government, saang departamento ito ang gusto mo at bakit? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if I were given a chance to choose uh, where do I want to work, is that in the Department of Tourism. Because I believe, ladies and gentlemen, I want to promote the province of Rizal. Because I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that province of Rizal is gifted by beautiful attraction like panoramic view of mountain, natural spring, and of course, the waterfalls. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to promote, to be honest, I am from Antipolo City, and I'm very proud to our place. It's because of the Sumaka Festival. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, the, the dear our virgins, our lady of peace and good voyage, are worth visiting. That would be all. Thank you, and good evening. Thank you, candidate number nine. nine. Gusto niyang i-promote ang turismo dito sa Rizal. Let's move on to our candidate number 10. Oh, oh yung ganda rin candidate number 10. Candidate number 10, how do you feel right now? Well, I feel nervous, but I feel happy because the angon, angon of people is here and also nakaita support me so much. Pakadami nga niyang supporter dahil dyan, bumunod ka na ng iyong question. Candidate number 10. Bigay mo sa akin. Itong yung katanungan. Kung bibigyan ka ng pagkakataong mahalal bilang mayor o gobernador dito sa lalawigan ng Rizal, ano ang unang proyekto na isasakotuparan mo at bakit? Once again, Kung mamibigyan ka ng pagkakataong mahalal bilang mayor o gobernador dito sa lalawigan ng Rizal, ano ang una mong proyekto na isa sa katuparan at bakit? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if I give it me a chance na mahalal bilang isang mayor o gobernador, of course, I will implement the law of REA. R stands for right. And A stands for equality. And A stands for acceptance. Because we, ladies and gentlemen, even we are gays, we have equal right to pursue in life in order to survive in this free world. And I will implement the free education because you know, ladies and gentlemen, education is the best foundation in life in order to survive in this free world. Like my mom said to me, a person who had not educated herself is look like a rolling stone without destination. That would be all, and thank you very much. Very well said, candidate number... 10. Very ten. well said. Education. At Education. Uh, meron pa siyang implementation at kung ano pa man. Bongga yun. Move on to our candidate number 11. How are you, candidate number 11? I think I'm fine. You think you're fine. <laughs> you think okay, mo lang yun. You're fired. <laughs> Tarat. 
And at number 11, you may pick your question. Okay, Mr. Okay, June. Candidate number 11, or June. Bilang isang Rizalenya, ano ang maaari mong maitulong upang mapangalagaan ang kapaligiran ng lalawigan ng Rizal? Bilang isang Rizalenya, ano ang maaari mong maitulong upang mapangalagaan ang kapaligiran ng lalawigan ng Rizal? Buhay isang maging buhay na patotoo, nais ko pong ibahagi ang aking sarili para sa paglilingkod sa ating kapaligiran. Maaring baklaman po kami, pero malaki pong maitutulong namin upang maupanla, mapunlad at malinis ang ating kapaligiran. Mga kaibigan, naniniwala po ko na hindi sapat ang maging babae, lalaki, bakla, kaman, bata o matanda. Pagkos, ang bumbu, taus, puso na paghahandog ng iyong sarili at ang malinis na kalooban ay mananatili at higit pa sa gintong iyong ibibigay at ipagkakaloob dito sa mundong ibabaw. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat. Thank you so much, candidate, candidate number, number 11. 11. Now, I move on to our candidate number 15. Paglilinis ng kapaligiran. Yes. Wow. Tapat mo, linis mo. Yeah. Hello, huh? candidate number 15. How do you feel right now? You feel okay, but we feel not. <laughs> <laughs> so you may uh, Spell pick? okay. Tinatanggal lang namin ang mga nervyos nyo. I'm sure kayo ay uh, nervy na nervyos na. Itong yung katanungan. Anda ka na ba? Dahil ready ka na? Itong yung tanong. Kung bibigyan ka ng pagkakataong maging isang manggagamot, anong espesilasyon ang pag-aaralan mo at bakit? Once again, Kung bibigyan ka ng pagkakataon maging isang manggagamot, anong espesalasyon ang pag-aaralan mo at bakit? Thank you very much for this wonderful question. Ang pipiliin ko po, mga kaibigan, ay ang gamot kung saan makakatulong sa mga taong may kapansanan. Kung ako po ay mapipiliin bilang isang manggagamot, ang gusto ko po ay magsilbi sa ating bayan na walang anumang kapalit na hiningi ang makatulong sa mga disabled na tao na sila'y pangalagaan, bigyan ng eduksyon, at bigyan ng linaw ng kakayahan na mabuhay at magtungan ang buhay nila dito sa mundong ibabaw. Maraming salamat po. Much. Akala ko, kapatid, kung papipiliin kang maging mam... Manggagamot. Binitin mo eh. Akala ko... Ma Kung papipiliin ka maging mambabarang. Aray ko. <laughs> Hindi nga albularyo ang nasabi ko. Magagamot eh. pala. Thank you so much, candidate number 15. And now, we move on to our candidate number 16. Candidate number 16, now do you feel that you won Best in Festival costume? I feel thankful to the judges and I feel overwhelmed tonight because despite of my mom's condition, she just came out from the hospital, she is here supporting me. Thank you, candidate. Very well, well said. said. Thank you so Yo much. <laughs> so, hello kay ma'am. Ano bang, uh, Mami Ellen. Mami Ellen, kamusta na po kayo? Ano bang sakit? My mom is a fighter. She was diagnosed with colon cancer. And despite of her condition, she is brave enough to face her sickness and fight and battling cancer. I'm very sorry. Uh, natanong ko pa 16, medyo seryoso pala. So you may pick your question. Mami Ellen, get well soon. Ingat po kayo. Kilala ang pamilyang Pilipino sa pagiging closely knit sa iyong palagay. Contributing fact ba sa pagkasira nito ang isyu ng homosexuality at bakit? Kilala ang pamilyang Pilipino sa pagiging closely knit sa iyong palagay? Contributing fact ba sa pagkasira nito ang isyu ng homosexuality at bakit? Thank you very much. 
When I was younger, I told my mom, Mom, I think I'm a gay. And my mom answered me with a very sad face. But as days goes on, I told her, Mom, I'm a gay. And then what she told me, she told me, go on, be yourself and prove to the people that even you are a gay, you are worth per person and making a best of this country. My family was the first to know that I am a gay and they were the first to accept. Therefore, my being a gay is never a hindrance in making a family as a basic unit of this society. After all, supporting your children definitely could make you a better family and a better person in the years to come. And I am proud that my mom accepted me for who I am and for what I am. Nahihirapan ang mga oh, hurado. Yes. Nahihirapan ang mga hurado. Thank you very much, candidate number 16. Nung nalaman ba, boss June ng family mo na ganyan ka, okay lang sa'yo? Bawal ba, Clary? Dude. Ay, bawal. <laughs> Ako kasi nang nalaman ng familia ko yan, okay lang din, accept naman ako. Eh, wala naman sila magagawa, mas kita yes, jack na jack na. Eh. Kahit saktan ka, nandiyan na yan yes. eh. No? And now we move on to our candidate number 17. Hello, candidate number 16. How do you feel right now? So, of course, I feel very nervous. Sweet, no? Sweet. I feel very nervous. Para may steep neck eh. So, dahil dyan, you pick your uh, question? Okay. Uh, you pick question and answer the question in one minute. Uh. Sakit mo. Ganun mga sosyal. Ah, ganun mga sosyal? Nagsasal tayo, hindi nagdidikit ang lower lip sa upper lip. Ay, talaga. Saan ka? Saan ka mong sa? Parang may sipon, walang ni Yusef. Kennedy number 17 ito ang ngayon nga, katanungan, naging issue na rin kamakailan ang same-sex marriage. Pabor ka ba na gawing legal ito sa Pilipinas? At bakit? Once again, naging issue na rin kamakailan ang same-sex marriage. Pabor ka ba na gawing legal ito sa Pilipinas? At bakit? Thank you very much for that question. You know what, friends? Definitely, even though I am a gay, I am not in favor to legalize the same-sex marriage here in our country, Philippines. Why did they say so? Because for me, as a gay, marriage is not a reason for us in order for us to prolong, to prolong the, but to prolong the connection between two partners. Definitely, mga kaibigan, naniniwala po ako na kung ang babae nga Ililigawan, inaanakan, pinapakasalan, kami pa kaya at sa bandang huli sila pa rin iniiwanan. Kami pa kayang baklang papakasalan ay hindi rin iiwanan. Kaya naniniwala po ako na nawag na po nating idamay ang ating simbahan. Same-sex marriage, magmahala na lang po tayo kahit na walang same-sex marriage. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, candidate number 17. Pagmahala na lang tayo. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, next. And I'm going to our candidate number 19. Actually, siya ang bet ko sa Miss Photogenic. Oh, siya na nga. Siya nga ang so, how do you feel that you want a Miss Photogenic? Totoo, maganda siya sa personal. Kamukha niya yung sa Itbulagas. Eh. Diana Meneses. Diana, Diana Meneses. Na may pinaghalong uh, Vic Soto. Ano? Thank Ay, you Joe. for those, that award that you given to me. Nga ng Big Soto at Joey De Leon. Isa mo mo na si Tito. Tito Soto. <laughs> Para tatlo sila. Ikaw nga si Jose. <laughs> Ako? Ikaw naman si Wally. De, uh, Jimmy Boy to. Kay hey, June. Kay hey, Kuya. Hey, hey, ang ganda ng boy. face niya. Ang ganda ng face niya. Oo. Parang mukha. Oo nga. Ganda ng mata, parang talakito ka. Oo. Oh, oh. Ang liit, ano? Tanggal lang namin ang Tokyo. <laughs> Ikaw ba ay pabor sa RH Bill na ngayon ay kilala sa tawag na Responsible Parenthood Bill at bakit? Ikaw ba nagmamadali ka? 
Ikaw ba ay pabor sa RH Bill na ngayon ay kilala sa tawag na Responsible Parenthood Bill? At bakit? May I answer this question briefly but precisely? RH Bill Reproductive Health Bill was created by Miriam Sanjago Defensor. I will answer this. I am not against in RH Bill or even pro in RH Bill. But one thing is for sure, I am a pro-life person. Our government really wants what's the best for us. But our gover we are the one who's choosing what's right for us. Yes, life is a gift given by our God. But we are the one who's choosing or making our own lives. After all, God said, humayo kayo at magpakarami. In this particular order, if we know how to raise our child properly, ang RH Bill hindi maging issue in the end of the day. So, definitely I am not against or even pro in RH Bill. But one thing is for sure, I am a pro-life person. Thank you and good evening. Kala niya nandun na yung tao. Thank you so much, candidate number 19. Akala ko hahampasin ako ng mic. Hey, Tibinas, sabi mo, kamukha ni Tito. Magaling siya magsalita, parang teacher, ano? Yes. And now we move on to our next candidate, candidate number 223. How are you, candidate number 23? Feel nervous? Me too. <laughs> you, may, you may put your question. Akin na, baby. Dahil sa nervous ka, at nervous din ako, may nervous, Etong, may nervous system ka pala. Okay. Is there a question? Pabor ka ba sa pagsali ng mga transgender sa mga international beauty contest? Bakit o bakit hindi? Once again, pabor ka ba sa pagsali ng mga transgender sa international beauty contest? Bakit o bakit hindi? Para po sa akin, hindi po ako pabor sa pagsali po ng mga homosexual sa beauty pageant na para po sa babae. Dahil naniniwala po ako na ang, ang pageant na para sa babae ay um, hindi kailangan na sumali ang mga homosexual. Thank you. So, hindi siya pavor. Yeah. Si candidate Meron number 23. Meron kang nervous breakdown. breakdown. Okay. Dahil John would like to call on candidate number 24. Ganda ni candidate. Nabahan si candidate number... Uh, How are you, candidate number 24? Very nervous. Very, very nervous. nervous. You mean to say you have a very nervous system. Okay. So, kailangan ng kape. Dahil siya bumunod ka na, baby. Pakibigay mo kay partner. Kay nervous insulator. Question. If you will die tomorrow, why not now? Okay. Paano ka makakatulong upang makaakit ng maraming turista sa lalawigan ng Rizal? I repeat. Paano ka makakatulong upang makaakit ng maraming turista sa lalawigan ng Rizal? Thank you very much for the wonderful question. I believe that different people have different opinions. And I have my own to answer that question. For me, ladies and gentlemen, I will start it in myself. I will have respect and conscience in my heart. Because if you respect yourself, people will respect you also. And if you have conscience in your heart, I believe that conscience is not a physical thing that you can pinpoint in any given time. Rather, it is a moral sense of being able to distinguish from what is right from what is wrong. And I believe in that way, I can promote the, homo I can promote the indigenous in this society. And if you agree with my humble opinion, definitely, I'm one of you. Thank you. Very well said. Sisimula niya sa kanyang sarili. Yeah, I believe the children, our future. Yes. Teach them well and let them lead, lead the way. way. We move on to our next candidate, candidate number 25. Si Dong Yi. How were you, candidate number 25? Okay lang. Dahil sa okay ka, bumunod ka na ng iyong uh, question. Ito ang iyong katanungan. Kung mawibigyan ka ng pagkakataong maging board member ng sangguniang panglalawigan ng Rizal, ano ang unang panukalang batas na iyong ipapasa at bakit? Once again, 
Kung magibigang ka ng pagkakataong maging board member sa sangguniang panlalawigan ng Rizal, ano ang unang panukalang batas na iyong ipapasa at bakit? Siguro po kung ako po bibigyan ng pagkakataon na maging board member ng ating lalawigan ng Rizal, siguro po... Bibigyan ko po ng pagkakataon kami pong mga kabaklaan na magkaroon po ng puwang dito sa ating lalawigan. Gaya po ngayon na narito po kaming lahat ngayon upang ipakita po namin ang aming talento. Di lamang po pakita namin ang aming kagandahan, ang aming kaura. Kung hindi po, bigyan po ng pagkakataon po kami na, na matanggap po ninyo ng madla. Dahil kami po mga kabaklaan, karamihan po sa amin ay kinukot siya. Kaya po, siguro po kung ako po bibigyan ng pagkakataon na maging board member, siguro po isa po yun sa aking mga layunin. Maraming salamat po at magandang gabi. Thank you so much, candidate number 25. Ang sagot niya ay yung uh, uh, sinabi ni Ma'am Anden kanina, yung pagkapantay-pantay sa lipunan. Oo. Okay. And move on to our candidate number 27. Candidate number 27, napakadami mong uh, bisita ngayong gabi. Ano naman na nararamdaman mo at ikaw ang nanalo ng People's Choice Award? Yes. Gusto ko magpasalamat sa lahat ng taong bumoto, sumuporta, pumunta ngayong gabi para sa akin. Ano man at ano man kung ano pong mangyari ngayong gabi, manalo, matalo po ako. Sa inyo pa lang, panalo na ako. Yun lamang po. Palita Ayon, ko, kaya raw dumami ang, uh, ang pala niya. Eh, pinakain daw sa Jollibee. Wow! Mamaya, pakainin mo naman sa McDo. Maiba naman, ano? Kanilid number 27? May pick your uh, question. Paano ka makakatulong na makontrol ang paglaganap ng rabies sa ating lalawigan? I repeat, paano ka makakatulong na makontrol ang paglaganap ng rabies sa ating lalawigan? Maraming salamat. Mga kaibigan, when is it rabies? Ito po ay nakukuha ng sakit galing sa aso. Pero wala pong sariling kaisipan ang hayop na aso upang, oo, hindi kita kakagatin. Bagkos, nasa may-ari po na kung saan, nasa kanya ang disiplina kung paano niya alagaan ng kanyang inalaga ang aso. Hindi po, hindi po napaka-importante para sa karamihan masyado nito kasi hindi sila masyado nababahala. Pero ako, meron po akong sariling alagang aso at ako po ay patuloy kong inaalagaan ito. Hindi lamang po para sa, sa kanyang sarili at para na rin po sa kapakanan ng ibang tao. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat. Siguro ang tanong na yan galing Thank you so sa much. provincial vet. Thank you so much, Kanit number 27. So, aalagaan niya ang aso. Yan. And I move on to our last candidate, Kanit number 28. Actually, Uy, kapatid, eh. yung lahat... Mamaya na po yung pandesal. Gabi pa. Ang oh. pandesal? Oh, mamaya, tatlong, tatlong sampu kami, dairy cream, dagay mo na. Naniningil kasi yung ibang candidate gamit pandisa. Uh -uh. <laughs> All questions are coming from department heads of Rizal. Wow. So lahat ng uh, nagbigay ng questions galing sa mga department heads. Oh, so kaya, wala itong uh, lahat itong may mga heads. Oh, oh, kaya siguro yun sa rabies Naputa galing sa na rabies. provincial debt. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. Nag-iisa na lang number 28? Ito naman mukhang uh, bet ko yung oh, oh, mukha niya. Mukha, eh, mukha siyang dalaging ding. Mukhang batang-bata. Okay. Dahil dyan, ay dalandala mo ang mga magitinda ng pandesal, eto ang iyong katanungan. <laughs> Kung pamimiliin ka sa dalawa, kagandahan walang talino at katalinuan walang ganda, ano ang pipiliin mo at bakit? Ulitin ko, medyo uh, may konting uh, uh, mali yung uh, Tiger Kerbkal. Kung pagpipiliin ka sa dalawa, kagandahang walang talino o katalinuhang walang ganda, 
ano ang pipiliin mo at bakit? Maraming salamat. Kung ako po ay papipiliin sa dalawa, pipiliin ko po ang talinong walang ganda. Kapag edukado kang tao, hindi ka mamalitin ni Numan. Aanhin mo ang ganda, kung puro ganda lang, walang laman ang isip. And that will be all. Thank you. Oh. Ikaw ko, Ezun, anong pipiliin mo? Ganda o talino? Ha? Talino. 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 Kasi uh -oh. kapag matalino ka, makakagawa ka ng paraan para kumita. At kung pangit ka, at pero mayamang ka, mapapaganda mo ang sarili mo. Aray ko, para natamaan naman ako sa ginabi mo. Thank you very much to our top 15 lovely candidates. And of course, dahil dyan sa ating beautiful top 15, receive a gift up from uh, Karen Perez de Tagle. That's a Revo and Elizabeth Perez de Tagle. Palakpakan po natin sila. Candidate number yes. seven. Tampa kayo, di ba? Lahat, ha? Yes. Walang uuwing luhaan, di ba? Sana, diba? sana kuya, Jun, makatanggap din tayo ng KSA Magic. Palakpakan naman natin muli ang ating Governor Casimiro Jun. Yes. Palakpak naman! Candidate number seven. And of course, of the rest of the girls, na kanina na hindi pinalad, congratulations, lahat kayo ay panalo na sa amin. And of course, lahat din at top 15, ay, alam ko kinakabahan, pero natapos na naman ay pagbigay ng kanilang uh, question and answer portion. Ang gagaling. At Once salong again, please welcome the first batch of candidates in their swimwear. May multo? Oo, may voice over. So this time... Thank you so much, KSA Magic and Sutla. Maraming salamat. This time, Kay Jun, I would like to announce our prizes for tonight. Clearly lang sa ating mga contestant at sa ating judges and to all the viewers right now. Our second runner-up will receive 5,000 pesos plus black and a sauce. And our first runner-up will receive 5,000 pesos plus black and a sauce. And our Miss Trade and Industry will receive 10,000 pesos plus crown and a sauce. And our Miss K Tourism will receive 15,000 pesos in cash plus crown and a sauce. And our Miss K Result 2012 will receive 25,000 plus crown and a sauce. And to represent for the Miss K Amazing that's coming up. So one to twelve. Wow, napakaganda. Congratulations sa inyo. And syempre, gusto once again, nakapasalamat po kami kay Governor uh, Casimiro Junjun Inares, Ma'am Andre Andeng Inares, thank you so much. To our distinguished panel of judges, kay Alden Richards, thank you very much. And of course, ako po personal po ako nakapasalamat kay Ate Sally. Ate Sally, thank you very much for inviting me here po. Maraming salamat po. And, And kay Kuya marami, June, thank you so much sa'yo. Maraming salamat din kay Vice Mayor Susana Garcia. Yes. Sai. And of course, ang nagpakahirap po to make this uh, production very well and so good. Tita Cookie, maraming salamat. Thank you very Cookie much Cookie Nalog, palakpakan naman natin. Yes. Oo. And to the all employee of uh, our... Uh, Kapitolyo, maraming maraming salamat po. At saka yung officers ng GORA, yung Gays of Rizal yes. Association. Thank maraming salamat. So At sa lahat po ng mga nandito ngayong gabi, palakpakan niyo po ang sarili niyo. Dito pala lang gusubukan na natin ang pagkakaisa at pagsuporta sa bawat isa. Kahit po ito ay isang Miss K competition. Maraming salamat po. Sino kaya ang matatanghal na kauna-unahang Miss K result 2012? First time. May we call on uh, board member Ato Bernardo and board member Ali Arling Villamayor to present the uh, second runner-up for Miss Gay Rizal. Okay, Ejun, I have the result. Our second runner-up, once again, we receive 5,000 in cash plus black and a sauce. Is Our second runner-up is none other than candidate number...
Number 28. Congratulations, candidate number 28. Siguro mamaya, libre na ang pandesal, ha? Wala nang bayad ang pandesal. Hi, Sudario. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Once again, congratulations, candidate number 28, our second runner up. And this time. For the first runner up, may we call on James Blanco and Vice Mayor Susan Sai. Nablang ko na yung chair. Nablang ko na po yung chair. Come on! Come on! Yeah! May we call on Robby? Please, uh... Romy, please accompany Vice Mayor Susan Sai. Now let's move on to our first runner-up. Runner and our first runner-up will receive 5,000 in cash plus black and a sauce. Our first runner-up is none other than candidate number 16. 10. Congratulations, candidate number 16, our first runner-off. This time, to give the award for Miss Gay Trade and Industry, may we call on Miss Marisa Andaya, Once again, our Miski Traded Industry will receive 10,000 plus toss and a crown. Bang, bang. It feels so good. One time. Our Miski Trade and Industry is candidate number six. Congratulations, candidate number six. Our Miski to rated industry. Dalawa na lang, partner. We move on to our Miski tourism. Dalawa na lang, ano? Ang ating uh, Miss tourism. At ang ating Miss Gay Rizal 2012. The first Miss Gay Rizal. Naku, sino kaya? I'm so excited. And I just can hide it. Ang ganda ng crown, ano? Yes. Yung crown po ay nanggaling pa sa Tugigaraw. So, talaga nga, sinin-sin.
Once again, congratulations. Candidate number six, our Meshke to rated industry. To present the Miss Gay Tourism Award, may we call on Madam Presi Hersito to be accompanied by James Blanco. Our Miss K Teresa will receive 15,000 pesos plus crown and a sauce. Ladies and gentlemen, our Miss K Teresa candidate number 19. Uh, from Rodriguez. No, from Binangonan. Ah, Binangonan, I'm sorry. Candidate number 19 is from Binangonan. Ayon. Ang ating kauna-unahan, Miss Gay Rizal. 2012. Okay. First time ever. Siyempre, magusunan pa to next year. Ang guwapo ni James. Sana makakiss ka. Congratulations once again, candidate number 19, our Miss K Tourism. And this time, to award the first Miss K Rizal 2012, may we call on the Honorable Governor June Inares, First Lady Andrea Bautista Inares, and Mr. Paul Cabral. I would like to greet all the my binangonan friends and gays. Hello, ang anang gabi po. And our uh, first ever Miss K Rizal 2012. Our Miss K Rizal will receive 25,000 pesos plus sauce and a crown and to represent for the Miss K Amazing. May we call also the remaining members of the Board of Judges, James Blanco, Ma'am Presi Hersito, please come up the stage, please. Hey, Marisa. Sinong bet nyo? And we would like to call on once again Miss Marisa Andaya. Ang ating uh, Miss Tourism is from Bilangonan. Ang ating Miss Trading uh, Industry is, is from Taytay. Ang ating uh, second runner-up from Alahala and, and first runner-up, Antipolo City. At, At ngayon naman, kaya ang ating uh, Miss Gay Result 2012. Our Miss Gay Result 2012 is on our end, candidate number 17. Number 17, 
our first Miss Gay Rizal. Twenty twelve. Congratulations, ladies. Candidate number 28, candidate number 16, candidate number 6, candidate number 19, and our Miss K. Rizal once again, candidate number 17. From Tai Tai. Rizal. Once again, we would like to say thank you very much to Governor Junjun Inares. Vice Governor Frisco San Juan Jr., Ma'am Andeng Inat. And to all the people here right now, thank you, thank you so much. Again, our Miss K 2012 Rizal is candidate number 17, Soritel Mercado. Thank you, Vice Mayor Susana Garcia Sai. And thank you, ladies. And this time, ladies and gentlemen, our winners in their victory walk. And thank you. Once again, thank you so much, Governor Casimiro Junior Nares III. Thank you. to another phase of this evening's competition, which has wonderfully become ever exciting. The lovely candidates are now all glam up and ready to sashay down the stage in their most elegant and romantic evening gowns, which shall show their personality and style. May I remind you that the delegates will be judged not only on the beauty of their gowns, but more on the way they, they carry themselves with poise and elegance. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's begin the evening gown competition. Candidate number one, 
is from Antipolo Rizal and 18 years of age. She is presently taking up a travel and management course in World City College. Our candidate number one, Mitch Campaner. Our candidate number two is 23 years of old and is a, is a big BS in chemical engineering graduate from the Technological Institute of the Philippines. She is presently a business entrepreneur of beauty products and has traveled in Thailand and other Asian countries. From Antipolo Rizal, candidate number two, Shane Marie Madrigal. Candidate number three. She is fan of sketching and 21 years of age. She is a student in National College of Business and Arts in Cubao, Quezon City, taking up business administration, major in marketing management. Another one from Antipolo Rizal. Candidate number three, Arabella Calvitaza. Candidate number four. She is also from Antipolo and a sophomore student in ICCT College Cainta, taking a BS in education. She is 22 years old and a freelance makeup artist. She usually spends her spare time dancing. Candidate number four, Joyce Ann Soriano. Our next candidate is candidate number five. She is 25 years old and a product endorser of Ads in Motion. She is a freelance makeup artist, having been a graduate of cosmetology from St. Petersville Technical Center. From Antipolo Rizal, candidate number five, Jody Dihaiko.
next candidate is candidate number six. A resident of Taitai Rizal and is 24 years old. Sefin is an associate in hotel and restaurant management course from Our Lady of Fatima University. A part-time model and business entrepreneur, candidate number six, Leslie Ann Francisco. Our next candidate is candidate number seven, who hails from Pililla Rizal and very young at the age of 18. A sophomore student taking a BS in hotel and restaurant management in STI Tanai, she spent his vacant periods dancing. Candidate number seven, Jillian Garcia. Candidate number eight. She is a business entrepreneur and only on her junior year in the University of the Philippines, Visayas, taking up fine arts. She is 24 years old and is fan of sketching. From Antipolo Rizal, candidate number eight, Alexis Garcia. Candidate number nine sketches during her spare time and is 23 years old. In his second year in business management, she is an overseas performer, artist, and singer. From Antipolo Rizal, candidate number nine, M. Bayubai. Our next candidate 